day to you. Last week, we said that budgeting is simply an estimation of income and expenses for a specified period of time. This week, we're discussing income. Here are four key steps when forecasting income. Step one, understand your various streams of income in your business. Take for example, you have a bed and breakfast business, then what are the various streams of income? What are the various things, uh, areas you earn income from? And in this example, number one would be room rentals, uh, number two, breakfast add-ons, uh, if you are selling souvenirs, uh, or if you have car add-ons to your room rentals. So all of those areas would be your various streams of income. Number two, step number two, historicals and market reviews. So if you're already in existence, then you would look at your past periods to see, okay, so how many rooms did I rent in May, June, uh, or from January to December. So you look at each month to see what your regular rentals were. If you are going into business, then in order to forecast, you would need to look at your competitors uh, to see what exactly they're doing or what they have done in the past. I know in the Caribbean, it's very hard to get information, but try your best to see how you can understand what their income levels were for specified periods. And obviously you would need to look at the market in general. So what is going on? So we're dealing with COVID right now. How does that impact our income uh, for the particular period or how, how it's expected to, to be, um, to impact our income? Then number three, step number three, estimate and specify your income level for a specific period. Make it realistic. So you, based on your historicals or based on what you investigated uh, from the market, you figure out, okay, so for, for April to December, what my expected income will be. So will it increase by 5% April of the, in comparison to April of last year, or maybe you want to use 2019 since last year was so iffy? How do you, uh, what percentage do you use to increase? Will it increase? Will it decrease? That's where you figure out a good realistic estimate as to your income. Step number four, soundboarding your projections. So after you would have projected the income for the specified periods, you then want to liaise with your managers, um, even persons in the industry to see how good your estimations are and then make changes where necessary. Now, I wanna encourage you to step away from the urge of just doing business without a budget. Take the time to plan, reap the benefits that plans allow you to have. Thank you so much. See you next week when we explore expenses. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.